I'm quickly discovering that DIY is very much part of being a Kiwi and so is outdoor entertaining. For two teams of DIY enthusiasts, that is about to be put to the test. They're in is to build their dream outdoor entertaining space before the doors reopen at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Do you think we can make it? Just go a little bit faster, all right? They'll have free run of the store and they'll be paired with a team of professional builders. Get these big frames put up first, get our roof structure sorted. So we've got all this decking to put on. It's definitely gonna be a race. For their efforts, they will be able to take their outdoor entertaining space home. But ultimately, they are building for the first prize of $5,000 worth of Mitre 10 products for their next DIY project. They have their plans drawn. But for both teams, that is just the beginning of the journey ahead. Our first team are brothers Josh and Julian. Me and my brother, we work together by just kind of working off each other, like especially with design. He has one thing, I have another, or we just yell at each other and throw hammers. Our project for the lock-in is, dare I say, quite, quite ambitious. But if, it, if we pull it off, it, it could be something special, something people just haven't actually seen before. I think he's going to crack first, but I mean... Yeah, I think, I think I'll, I'll, I'll crack, but, but, but you'll pull me back. Should be right. <laughs> Up against them are Felipe and Olivia. I met Felipe in New Zealand's one and only Brazilian bar in Christchurch. Dad said, have you got yourself a boyfriend yet? And I said, yeah, Dad, I got myself a Brazilian. He went, oh, I don't need to know that. Ooh. We've done pretty much everything here, but the grass is very special to me. It's a lot of hard work. I spend over an hour every night watering everything. Felipe entered the lock-in because he loves Mitre 10. It's like being locked in a chocolate factory for the night. I'm the team's project manager, helping them stay on schedule, but they'll need to communicate clearly with their builders or things might not be looking so good by the time the sun comes up. Now, Stan and I will be judging the outdoor entertaining areas tomorrow morning. We'll be looking at how well the designs came to life, the materials used, any smart innovation, and those all-important finishing touches. So guys, here we go. Let's lock the doors. All right, guys, so here are the plans. Josh and Julian's innovative design means their outdoor entertaining structure will be roadworthy and mobile. Starting with an off-the-shelf trailer, they'll have the help of a welder to erect a steel frame. Using ply, they'll install a bar and with waterproof shower lining, a roof, both of which can fall down for travel. The floor will use decking timber and feature underfloor storage. To really impress, they'll be installed at a barbecue and have made their own fall-down furniture. If they pull it off, these lads will drive away towing a piece of engineering that will be the envy of all. In there? This is the bones of the whole project. If we don't get this right, I don't know what we're going to do. We live in Papamoa Beach and we're literally 400 metres from the beach and we really enjoy having friends and family over in the backyard watching our girls and kids run around. So to have the opportunity to build our dream barbecue entertainment area in one night it was a pretty awesome opportunity. Felipe and Olivia's design is a whopper and uses a stack of materials. The subfloor measures a massive 5.3 metres. The pre-made framing and roof truss will support the expansive roof, using only one full wall. Once up, the structure will be clad in a mix of weatherboard and pine timber, and include plumbing and electrics. The back wall is a three-quarter height, anchoring the outdoor kitchen and built-in barbecue. A hanging garden, a hanging chair and an open-plan design will create a relaxed social space, perfect for entertaining. Oh, what about the race rehearsal? Are we going interior or exterior? Exterior. Oh, good. Going up as planned. So, Stan, we've got Joshua and Julian and our first steel structure. Yeah, it is, mate. I saw this in the plans and I thought, how the heck are they going to pull this off? It looks like it's doing a bit of gymnastics, lots of moving parts. Yeah, what they've got is a, is a deck that's folding down, they've got a roof that's folding up, they've got a bar that's spinning around, so it's not a project you'd, you'd undertake lightly in your backyard unless you've got some really good knowledge about welding and working with steel. Essentially, they've just taken a stock standard trailer here from Mitre 10 
They're using a welder straight off the shelf and they're building this thing in front of us and it's coming out absolutely fantastic. Nice. Build's going well. Um, we got most of the frame up. It's now a matter of cladding everything with some timber. It's going to take a while, but we should be all right. So we've got Felipe and Olivia. This to me looks, it's quite a big build, isn't it? It's, it looks like a long footprint. Well, it's a big open area. There's only essentially one full wall on the end that's holding the back of the roof up. Okay. We've got a three quarter high wall across the back of the cupboards. And then the rest is kind of like a big open floating room. It's going really well, I think. The structure's starting to take form, take shape. And the builders are really good, they're quick. Nothing's a problem, they're easy to work with. It seems like it's a very simple structure, but they have got storage across the back of there, and they've got a barbie in there. It's, it's, it's relatively complicated, isn't it, the more you look at it? Absolutely. They still really do have their hands for it, even though they've only got a couple of walls. I'm waiting to paint and stain, and that's what I'm a little bit anxious about. It is the halfway point at the lock-in and the teams have been building for four hours to get their structures welded, built and in place. Now from here, all they really have to do is line, wire, paint and fully finish all of their areas. Now these things might not seem like the most entertaining things in the world, but it's these elements that will determine the winner. just getting my plants together. There's a lot of wood in that structure, so we just need to break up some of that wood and really bring it to life with these gorgeous plants. Do you remember the bucket that we had at Poplar's house? Oh yeah, outdoor shower. Yeah, so if we can put a bucket off the end there, yeah. and then it's just got like a little valve underneath it, yeah. releases it. That's right. That's nice. Because it's got the armrest, it's a little bit more comfortable than yours, isn't it? Well, let's swap. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Woo! That one better? We'll go with this. All right. We've <laughs> got so much to do. OK, so me and my brother had a little, little chat about our design, and we feel that there's a way that we can improve it. So we're going to be doing an outdoor shower. Sick. Looks so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you really feel it, eh? <laughs> Everyone is gonna love this. So at this stage of the game, we're looking at the lighting, the finishing touches, and it looks like it could be a little bit of a dark structure with the tin roof and the wood against the wall. But the lighting's gonna really lift that and make it a lot more pleasing and relaxing and ambient. Hey guys, you've got one more hour. So you want to start thinking about exactly what you need to do to finish off. We still, got, we still got all this decking to put on. It's definitely going to be a race. You know, it look pretty much like made for Yeah, like kind of diagonal. Those are all fitted, right? Where do you want this one to go? I don't know, just chuck them in anywhere and if they're not good, we leave them. There's, what, 15 minutes left and we're still assembling all the furniture. It's, it's just crazy. Do you think we can make it? Yeah, just go a little bit faster, all right? Almost there, but we're still going to get this thing dressed. Just a couple of minutes left. I, I really like this bean bag, so I'm gonna get some bean bags. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. Tools down. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> nice. We did a ride together. We really played off each other's strengths and just pulled through. And I haven't been happy about it. Oh. I can't believe we built this in just one night. 
I know, right? Are your legs aching? <laughs> My knees are aching. Philippe and Olivia. What a belt. Incredible, isn't it? I absolutely love it. The brief was create an outdoor entertaining area. I could see this in anyone's back garden. Absolutely. Nicely clad. They've got their fridge in, they've hand built the units, they've got the corrugated iron on the roof, they've got their lighting in. It's really hard to fold this. And they finished it before the sun's come up. Nailed it. Stan, this is such an elegant structure, isn't it? Very simple, beautifully done. I'm actually quite speechless. This is really, really amazing. It's genius, really, because lots of things move, pop in, pop out, so you can fold all of this away. So the trailer all tucks in. But this it actually down. Work? Yeah. So, oh, yes, yeah, so this is the roof. I saw them it testing just pops it. Out. That goes all the way down, falls down on the other side, and then down here, they've put in these little hatches Lovely. for your beers. Nice. And so this little table here, it pivots, folds up. The deck folds up, this folds down. Very, very compact and smart. I don't know how we do this. I think this is a genius piece of design. I think the other build, Olivia and Philippe, is fantastic, really well delivered. Very different schemes, but both brilliant. When I first saw that all finished, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go for that. But now I'm standing up here, I'm thinking, I could really do with one of these as well. <laughs> Hey guys, just before we kick it off, I want to say what an outstanding job you guys have done. Seriously, you've followed the brief and you've absolutely nailed it. A really, really good job. You communicated really well within your teams and with the builders. I think the builders really worked hard for you as well, which is fantastic. But it comes down to the design and execution of each build. Now, two very different schemes, different forms of construction. You guys had a lot of steel, you guys had a lot of timber both very elegant builds as well. You have completely finished them. So the good news is, you get to take them home. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> now, the big prize is $5,000 worth of Mitre 10 products for you to take home for your next DIY project. And there can be only one winner. Or maybe not. We were completely split. And it wasn't like we were split that one person liked one and one person liked the other. We both loved both. They're both outstanding structures. You've absolutely finished them perfectly. And they're two completely different builds, so. You're both winners. We're gonna split the prize. Congratulations. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> we did this for the experience more than anything, and it's just been absolutely fantastic the whole way through. We're real chuffed. I think the experience has been great. I don't think that's not many people that have that opportunity to do something like that. And um, the money was a split, so it could have been better. 